football fever. Bismarck heading Rossville. Alvin can stamp a perfect Vermilion Valley Conference season tonight against Salt Fork. Blue Devils on their first drive here as Dawson Dodd avoids the sack, slings it out to Mason Hackman, who makes the play for the first down. Blue Devils look like they're about to get on the board, but great coverage there from Ethan McLean for the storm. Then Salt Fork takes over with Tate Johnson on a big gain. Thank you to him for not running me over. <laughs> and no score after the first quarter, but a great moment for Tom Johnson there, who's retiring after 51 years at BHRA. And I guess it's only fitting that the Blue Devils strike first as Eric Watson breaks several tackles on his way to the end zone. It'll be 41 nothing BHRA. And you can't argue with that flow, Brett. I gotta I love ask it. what kind of conditioner he wears. Yes, and congrats to Tom. As well. <laughs> Oakwood starts with night in third place in the VVC. The Comets welcome, welcome Hoopston area Armstrong Potomac. Just before halftime, the Corn Jerkers getting some point on the board as Anthony Zamora runs it in for the score. They also go for the two-point conversion, which is good. But Oakwood leads at half, and they take over in the second. There's this big breakaway play for Griffin Trees, who splits it up the middle. I mean, look at him go. He's finally taken down, though. But uh, what a run for him. But the comments get into the end zone later on the drive as Gavin Klaus punches his way in. It'll be 60-54 Oakwood. Brett, we were just saying, that's a basketball. Yeah, there's basketball teams that score less than that. <laughs> yeah. Fine. All right, plenty of fireworks from Hamas Seymour tonight as the Bulldogs host Taylorville in the finale, already up big at the half. They are adding to it in the second. Braden Finch fakes out the cameraman. That's me, in case you're wondering. <laughs> he also tricks the defense because he takes it all the way for the score. 42 0 at that point. Bulldogs aren't done. Clay Hubble gets the handoff. He's going one way. Then he's going back the other way. No defenders touching him at all. He is on his way. Great block there as well. He wins the foot race. The Bulldogs win the game in a shutout. 56. That's, that's the zigzag. That's how you run to get away from alligators. <laughs> that's a Florida girl. Florida thing. <laughs> right all right, Apollo Alani Prairie crossover game has Mount Zion visiting Illinois Valley Central. Pick this one up in the first quarter. IVC dropping back to pass. And a Mount Zion senior, Drew London, delivering a big-time hit on the quarterback for the sack. Then later in the first, defense doing it. This time, London making the play on offense as well. He takes the pitch, muscles his way into the end zone. Braves lead 14-0 in the second quarter, and they aren't even anywhere close to being done. Ashton Summers, deep strike for the touchdown. 21 at that point is the lead, and 63-21 ends up being the final. All right, last prep visual stop takes us to Decatur, where MacArthur hosts Peoria Emanuel in a non-conference game that was added late. Here is Generals Kalen Young running out of the Wildcat formation. Good gain for the first down. Then Amarion Slaw with the TD pass here. This one belonged to MacArthur all day long. Young gets the handoff, follows his blockers in for the easy score. 42-0. MacArthur ends its season on a high note. All right, that's all the football highlights. That's it. We're done until the fall. But we, wow. the good news is we get to do this again in, in the like fall? five months. It's really not Hopefully that far not the away. Spring. <laughs> yes, we're done with the spring. I think everyone can agree we can move on from that. All right, after, we're not done yet, though. After the break, later.